Hi, my name's Phoebe Morris, and I grew up in this house, and I hope to raise my children in this house. And unfortunately, on September 8th, Tropical Storm Lee took it out. And we goes dealt with floods before. We get a, a minor flood almost every year. Yeah, but this we're prepared I mean, for I mean, that. You know, I was expecting something about two feet higher than 2006, and I don't know how many feet and it was. It was that ribbon over there is the mark of where the water level oh, was. Oh really? Oh my God. Yep, I was here that night. Water started coming into our house, and you know they were saying, you know, evacuate, obviously. Um, so we just went to my neighbors because they live higher up from us, and we really had nowhere to go. We couldn't get out of a we go, so we just, you know, we thought, you know, it's not gonna be this bad as you know it could have been, but it was, it was horrible. It's, we didn't expect it. Wait, so how much? How much did you get? We got about five feet maybe even more but from the line that we saw it was about five feet and it just destroyed everything in our first floor our basement our furnace our all our appliances refrigerators all that stuff on the first floor just destroyed uh, there were around 1200 homes affected and um, a lot of them I know were about eight or maybe ten I think eight that were listed as destroyed by the uh, code people that went around surveying them, and a whole lot that had um, uh, what do they call it? Major, major damage. Yeah. A lot, and um, it's going to take a long time. This is my neighbor, Krista Carter, and um, she also got flooded, of course, as you can see, and we're trying to rebuild her house too. What, what stage are you at at the moment? Uh, right now we're pretty much all gutted, have the floors up and all the walls down. And you've got fans going, and I hear you got a piece of good news today. I passed my electrical inspection. So you passed your electrical, <laughs> you've got how many so, outlets running now? Two. Two, two circuits. Two outlets, it's a hooray. It'll be enough to get working and get building. You know, there's a lot of people who are going to have a hard time rebuilding their houses because, you know, the average first floor, I'm just guessing, you know, it's gonna take thirty to $40,000 to rebuild, mm -hmm. you know, between the hot water, furnace, any appliances, and then you got to the construction. Yeah. And if you don't have either homeowner's insurance or flood insurance, that's a lot of money. And a lot of people in the village don't have flood insurance because they never expected to get flooded then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're hanging in there, we have flood insurance, and, you know, we're just waiting on getting the money for that and everything, but, you know, it's just wait and see. We're trying to clear out what we can and do what we can to, you know, get back in motion from this. Because you're still in the process, you can see here a crew behind me, but you're still in the process of gutting the house, getting it down to the studs so where you can just start drying out and getting the mold problem dealt yep. with. Oh yeah. Suddenly yep. everyone in Owego has a mold problem. Oh it's it's all over the place. I mean we helped my grandparents down the road. That was like the first thing we did because we you know they're old they need a place to stay. Mm -hmm. They have lived in that house all their lives and you know we just wanted to help them out and then now we're working on our house and people have been coming. I mean it's been really helpful to have people just you know come around and help us out. Um, Everybody's all over the place yeah. trying to help. The Neighbors you know, Helping so, Neighbors yeah. has been really uh, amazing and yeah. inspiring. Yeah, it's and, such a small town and everybody just comes together, you know, they want to recover yeah. from this. Yeah. What do you think is the greatest need for homeowners here in the village right now? Uh, well, personally, I would say it's the ability, meaning money, to rebuild and furnaces. I mean, it's, it is starting to get chilly, and I, I'm used to being chilly, but today I'm sitting in the house without a furnace. I'm thinking, you know, I should talk to, <laughs> to Martin Plumbing and Heating. <laughs> now, are you living in the second floor right now? I am now, yeah, just because, I mean, I was living at my girlfriend's house, and there's just a pain, you know, being down the road and, you know, not being able to be here so I can do what I could. So I'm just trying to make do. I mean, you might have to get a little heat up there somehow soon. Now, you're one of the families on RebuildAWego.com that actually has been adopted. Yes. Yep. So what are some of the things that um, your donors have 
been able to give We've you. Gotten a lot of to toys is going to be tops on the list. Yeah, because you, you have a seven-year-old. Yep. Uh, but yeah. what do you really need before winter? I need a furnace. <laughs> I need a furnace. Um, I told the kids we had been to a picnic just before the flood, and I hadn't unpacked my vehicle yet. My vehicle was fine in the backyard. So we do have a picnic table and lawn furniture. Okay. <laughs> that we can use in the dining room and living room. But, but before winter, you'll need a furnace. Need a furnace. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't going into winter, I think we'd all be in better shape, you know? I mean, because then you'd have the whole summertime to yeah. rebuild. We need not only strong backs to come out and dig out some of these houses that haven't even been touched, and to help clean up the streets so that my kids can possibly run barefoot in the grass again. But we need help getting furnaces and water heaters back in. And we need help for all the low-income residents here who need to get back into housing and who can't go anywhere else. My 95-year-old neighbor was flooded out of her basement apartment across the street. They're still fixing it. She's not back in yet. She's sleeping on somebody's couch. I don't know where. So please visit Owego, rebuildowego.com, adopt a family, send us some money, or send us some people. We could use it. The little town in the Susquehanna you've never heard of, Owego, New York, needs your help. Yeah, it's gone. Now, have you talked to FEMA yet? Yeah. And You've I mean, done your application and the whole rigmarole. Yeah, and they gave us a little money, but I mean, what's that? Enough to do? buy a new <laughs> furnace or? No. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. But I mean, we're hanging in there. We have flood insurance and, you know, we're just waiting on getting the money for that and everything. But, you know, it's just wait and see. We're trying to clear out what we can and do what we can to you know, get back in motion from this. Because you're still in the process, you can see here a crew behind me, but you're still in the process of gutting the house, getting it down to the studs so where you can just start drying out and getting the mold problem down.
dealt yep. with. Oh, yeah. Suddenly, yep. everyone in Owego has a mold problem. <laughs> oh, it's it's all over the place. I mean, we helped my grandparents down the road. That was like the first thing we did because we, you know, they're old. They need a place to stay. Mm -hmm. They have lived in that house all their lives, and you know, we just wanted to help them out. And then now we're working on our house, and people have been coming. I mean, it's been really helpful to have people just you know come around and help us out. Lockheed Martin came yesterday. We didn't expect anybody to come because we were supposed to have some Amish people help us, but they're not, they're not in town yet. Um, but Lockheed Martin was around and they helped us get started, really. We just started yesterday and today, I mean, you wouldn't believe how much we cleared out in just two days. It's crazy. And we just had lunch on a, a friendly couple from Ithaca that just right. drove up and they're, they've been driving around town. Chris, they gave Krista lunch earlier um, and just handing out split pea soup and bread from the back of their car. Right. Um, Everybody's all over the place yeah. trying to help. The Neighbors well, Helping so, Neighbors yeah. has been really uh, amazing and yeah. inspiring. Yeah, it's and, such a small town and everybody just comes together, you know, they want to recover yeah. from this. Yeah.